Hey guys, welcome to a new video. In this video here, we're going to see how we can create a web application with OpenCV. We're going to use Streamlit and OpenCV together. So I'm going to show you how we can open up a video capture with our webcam and then how we're actually going to see a live stream in a Streamlit app. Then we can actually create web applications around OpenCV and then display the results in our web app. So this is actually really cool and we only need a few lines of code to be able to run Streamlit and OpenCV together so we can live stream with OpenCV in our browser. Okay, so let's jump into Visual Studio Code and see how we can use Streamlit together with OpenCV so we can create computer vision web applications. So first of all here, we're just going to import the modules. So we're going to import CV2 for OpenCV and also Streamlit as ST. And then we can just directly go in and use the Streamlit library together with OpenCV. We also just have some temp file here and also the NumPy uh, module. If you don't have Streamlit installed already, you'll basically just go up in open new terminal and we can just go in and pip install it so we could just type in pip install and then stream lit and then it will actually like just download it to your computer and now we can use stream lit together with OpenCV. so first of all we're going to open up a new video capture with our webcam or our camera attached to our computer so i have the first index here as again again this is the exact same thing as in all the other computer vision tutorials and projects that we've been doing but here we just open up the capture. We set the title for our web application. So we just call st.title and then we just set the title of our web application to video capture with OpenCV. You can customize all these different kind of things here. You can go into the documentation on uh, the Streamlit website. So you can do a lot of customizations to these Streamlit web apps. Then we're going to set up a frame placeholder so we can then upload our frame or like send the frame to our web app later on with OpenCV. So we just initialize this as st.empty. Then we're going to set up a button as well on our web application. Again, you can set up multiple buttons, uh, text fields. You can even like have sliders, um, inputs. You can even like have drag and drop file systems and so on. You can easily set that up with Streamlit. So this is really easy to get started with and work with in Python. And you can actually like just set up your web application. You can take your projects, just create these really simple web applications on top of your project. So again, we just create a button here st.button and then we just call it stop here so this will be a stop button if we hit this it will just like terminate the program and go out and it will just stop the streaming to our web application then we're going to go down open up our video capture so we're going to have a while loop as long as our video capture is open and our stop button is not pressed then we're going to read in a frame from a webcam we store it in this frame variable if we don't return a frame here, we're just going to write out that the video capture has ended and we're going to break off the while loop, release our webcam and destroy all the windows that we have opened up with OpenCV. So now we just need to convert our frame from BGR to RGB because OpenCV is working with BGR images and also when we load them in from our webcam. But when we display them with Streamlit, we want to have them in the RGB format. So we're just going to convert our frame to start with and then we can just directly go in and upload that image to our web application through the flame placeholder that we initialized up at the top um, outside of the while loop. So then we just have our frame underscore placeholder dot image. We just create an instance of an image with our streamlit app. Then we just pass in the frame and also the channels here. So we just specify that we have the, the RGB channels. And then we're actually just showing the images in our streamlit web application. If it hit a queue on a keyboard, it will break off the while loop. And also if we hit the stop button in our web application, we just release our webcam and destroy all the windows that we have opened up with OpenCV. So this is just a standard while loop where we open up our webcam, we read in the frame, and then instead of using the im show for displaying the frame with OpenCV, now we're just going to have this frame placeholder and then upload our image to the Streamlit app. So we're basically just going to stream our images from our camera to the Streamlit app. And now we're actually going to see how that works. So again, you don't need to write like anything. You only need like a couple of lines of code. So let's just count. So first of all, we just import Streamlit. We set a title here. You don't need to do that, but that is one. And then we have two, three here. We are going to set up a bottom. bottom. There's not necessary either, but here we have like a four. So this is four. Um, and then we just go down frame placeholder this is five so we actually like only need five lines of code to be able to create these computer vision applications on top of our uh, python script so it is really cool and you should definitely do it in your own projects and applications so now i'm going to show you how we can run this streamlib app and then we're going to see the results how the frames here act like a live stream to our web application so I'll just go up here and open a new terminal so we'll just go inside this new terminal 
And then we just need to basically go inside our folder. So I have inside my call folder. So we're just going to, oh, I'm already inside that uh, directory I can see. So we have our streamlit opencv directory. And then we just need to call this streamlit command. So we have streamlit run. And then we basically just specify the Python, uh, the our Python script with our web application or the streamlit application. So that is called opencv app. Dot pi. And then we can just run it here. It will open up on your local host. As you can see down here, we have a local URL. We also have the network URL here. Uh, and then it will act like just open up in your browser. I'm just going to pull it over here from the right. So here we can see the title, Video Capture with OpenCV. We can now see that my, I have my camera over here to the left. Now we're just directly streaming our images from our Python script to this web application with Streamlit. Again, we can see that it is actually like really nice. Um, you can create a lot of applications around this. Um, you can create more bottom sliders and so on. But right now we're basically just live streaming the inputs from our camera through OpenCV. We pass it through to our Streamlib app. And now we're basically just live streaming to a website. So this is really cool. can be useful for a lot of different kind of things. So thank you guys for watching this video here. And again, remember to hit the subscribe button and bell notification under the video. Also like this video here if you like the content and you want more in the future. We're going to use this Streamlit module together with OpenCV a lot in the future because this is just really easy to set up. We only need like a couple lines of code and then we actually like have web applications on top of our computer vision projects. So if you're interested in more tutorials about computer vision, deep learning and so on, I'll link to one of them up here. Or else I'll see you next time, guys. Bye for now.